If you're wondering how to use the Mumcozy M5, then stick around as this video is for you. I'm going to walk you through the different components that make up the M5, how to assemble it, and how to use the Mumcozy M5. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. It really does help. And if you'd like more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. All right, so let's dive in and start with the different components that make up the Mumcozy M5. So if I pull this apart, I love that this is an all-in-one breast pump. Um, all in one means that the motor is attached and it is just the one unit. So let's pull this apart. So what we have, we have the motor. The motor is what drives the pump. It gives you your suction strength and this is an integral part. Next we have, oh, sorry, the breast shield or flange. I like to call it a breast shield because uh, sometimes it can be a little bit confusing. You will also see in your pack when it comes that you come, it comes with a flange. Now this is called a breast flange. This is also a flange, so you can see why I can get a bit confusing. So I like to refer to this as a breast shield. It does have the flange part attached. Uh, with the M5, you also have your connector already attached. Uh, you have your collection cup. You have a diaphragm and you have a duct bill valve. So there's not too many components. So let's look at putting them all back together. First, you need to attach the diaphragm to your collection cup. So there's actually a little lip in here. And so you need to make sure that that goes securely over. Uh, it generally slides in quite nice. Next, you will need to then add your duckbill valve to the bottom of the connector on your breast shield. So that just slides on. You want to line it up so I'll turn it around. So it is flat. The flat part is aligning with your breast shield, and that's obviously pointing down. Now, the great thing about this connector is there is a love heart on there, and that lines up with the love heart on your collection cup. So we will then want to push that in so it just slides in and you want to make sure when you're pushing it in that it is aligned nice and securely with the hearts. Next you need to make sure that the outer seal is secure. So I like to just lift up the seal so it goes over nice and easy and then just press around the edge of the breast shield and the collection cup and you can hear it clicking in you can do it a bit quicker if you need um, there we go make sure that you've got a nice firm and secure attachment because that's really important not just uh, to prevent leaks but also to ensure that the suction is adequate and that you're not losing any suction power. Then the last step is to attach your motor so that simply just clicks into place. Then you want to turn it on using the power button, make sure I turn around to make sure it's working. Now please sorry ignore the flicking light it does not flick in uh, real life it is just doing that because I'm filming this outside. So once you have that all together, let's take a look at how this works. Now the first uh, important part when you are using any breast pump is to make sure that you have an adequate uh, flange sizing for your nipple. And what I love with the Mum Cozy brand is they come with this nipple measuring tool. So you can use this to find your right flange size. Now with the M5, they actually come with a little pack of different size flanges, which I do really love. It means that you can find generally the right fit uh, and get yourself started straight away. So the flange, uh, sorry, the breast shield comes in a standard 24 millimeter flange size. So if that is not the right fit for you, 
and you need to go smaller then you can find the next size down which is the 21 millimeter uh, flange and then you just simply push that in till you get a nice secure fit now if you still need to go smaller then you are looking for the next size down so next size would be the 19 millimeter and then you're just going to simply stack these in on top of each other it can be a bit tricky when you are trying to squeeze multiple in until you get the right flange size I will say that if you are going to go down to quite a small size say a 15 millimeter you may want to see if you can change your overall breast shield sizing so you're not stacking too many of the flanges uh, it makes it easier um, and there's obviously less cleaning so once you have your right uh, flange size you're going to want to align your breast pump on your nipple and breast so ideally your nipple is going to line up centrally with the flange and straight up onto your breast you don't want it leaning uh, you're going to end up with leaks as you are pumping so nice and straight uh, and again your nipple lined up once you have that you are going to turn your pump on now again please ignore the flicky that is not how it is in real life it is nice and uh, clear so with the m5 you can see that there are two different symbols here uh, the first symbol we can flick them between by pressing the recycle button the heart is for stimulation and this is really your let down and the initiation of your breast milk so you'll have this on for a few minutes until your milk flow is uh, in you can change the level of suction by pressing the up or down button now there are nine different levels of suction I love this as this gives you a really good control on your comfort levels and when you're ready to go into your expression mode expression no, I can't speak so your expression mode you simply hit the recycle and expression mode is the droplet and these are long uh, suction you can hear it and that's to draw out your breast milk uh, but what I love about the M5 is they also have a mixed mode and that is shown by both the heart and the droplet on at the same time this also has a fantastic vibration feature so if you can imagine why this is on your breast inside you have these micro vibrations and they are loosening up your milk duct so you can get the most out of your pumping session uh, the timer oh sorry there is no timer on this unfortunately but the LED screen will turn off after about 15 seconds of you not changing any of the settings um, once you have finished your pumping session you then turn off your breast pump by holding down the by holding down the on off button you are going to want to gently push your fingers in between your breast pump and your nipple to slowly release the suction you are going to want to lean forward and then remove your breast pump now if you lean forward you're not going to be spilling your milk everywhere now I love that the pump also comes with a really easy to pour spout so once you've removed it you can simply pour it into your collection container now once you have finished cleaning uh, sorry finished your pumping session you are going to want to pull apart all your different uh, components and make sure they are washed and sterilized for your next use I also highly recommend that you then put your pump on to charge uh, there's nothing worse than going to do a pumping session and your pump is out of battery now the charging port is on the side uh, simply plug it in what I do also love about the pump is if you are halfway through your pumping session you can simply tap 
the on off button and it will pause your system for you uh, you can also see when you first turn on your pump your battery that is uh, these two it's up to three little symbols when you first turn it on if there is three it is fully charged if they are flicking so almost how it appears in this video if they are flicking then that means that you are low on battery um overall i think that covers it so if there is any questions please ask i will answer them the best i can and don't forget to hit like if this has been really helpful all right thanks